Hello, it's Nest Tilson here. Um, in this short video, I'd just like to show you some of the new features that have appeared in the Polyboard 5 um, when we're working in a project. Let's go into Polyboard 5 now and just set up and show you how we would quickly set up a project from existing library of cabinets. Let's close this particular project and let's start a completely new project. Just click as usual on the project button. Now the project window has slightly changed from Polyboard 4. We could, if we now right click on the, we can add um, from the context menu new floors, new walls, but we also have a new function called rectangular floor where we just add the size and the floor will be automatically generated in a rectangle. Of course, the parameters of the floor are over here, so we can say, for instance, if the floor we only want it 20 millimeters, and let's say Let's put a, a texture on the floor. Let's have a texture that we had in tiles. And we also have here now a window which we can display automatically the project in three the what we're drawing in 3D. So we get a good view of it while we're actually drawing. Let's click on a new wall. New wall and let's just draw the wall around it. The wall automatically draws itself with its parameters. Here let's put the outer wall at 2 meters 50 high. With a thickness of 10 or of 100 mil, that's fine. And let's give it, um, let's give it a bit of uh, a bit of color. And we can see here the wall has drawn itself in the 3D window. We can get good 3D view while we're working. Let's um, now just let's add another let's add another little wall, a new, new wall, and let's add a a wall somewhere around here, and just drag it down, and let's give it a hundred one meter high that'd be fine for this bit of wall just a small partition wall and if I click um, let's click quit edition and let's go to OK and we can have a look at our project with its new wall so here we have a quickly set up a little 3D space let's add some bits of cabinet to this space let's, um, let's go into our cabinet library let's select all the cabinets we have and open them and put them into this project so that we can use them to start adding, making a little kitchen. Just takes a little bit of time to load because there's quite a few cabinets in my library. And here we have our cabinets. Let's um, in this product window. Let's see ourselves here. Right. Let's let's just throw in a few cabinets. So let's throw in some a corner cabinet, for instance, here. It will click itself neatly into the corner. Let's throw in a three door cabinet. It will click itself here and let's throw in one last uh, one door cabinet that will click itself here right and um, let's throw we can see now that this cabinet doesn't fit does it uh, let's have a look at in 3d and we can see that there is a if we look around a bit let's have a look around a bit like that we can see there is a space here between this cabinet and the wall. Now, here is where one of the new features of Polyboard 5 come very become, come very handy. Uh, we have a measuring tool here. We take the measuring tool and we can take a horizontal measurement. The horizontal measuring tool will clip will um, will clip itself onto significant uh, corners over that edge. I slide this up here and then I have my dimensioning line which I will slide to the end of the cabinet very good I have five to five millimeters between the end of this cabinet and the wall and what I want to do is di redimension this one so let's redimension it, let's go quit the measuring tool um, well you'll notice I quit the measuring tool it disappears Let's click it on this bit of furniture and let's put the whip at 525. Let's, 525. Let's save this into the model. Save this into the model. And let's go back into the project here. And let's, we see that it's now actually been redimensioned, this bit, this, this bit of furniture. Let's click it and just click it, move it 
onto the end of this bit of furniture and now we should have we should have everything neatly lined up right let's uh, go back into the plan view yeah and let's add some more bits of furniture let's add for instance a let's add a base three doors I'll take this one here and I'm going to clip this one onto this wall here now here's a neat function for turning furniture that when you're building your models it's very easy to turn if you select furniture and then you move the mouse over to the corner one of the corners there will be a rotating arrow sign when the rotating arrow sign appears click the mouse on the rotating arrow and now the furniture will rotate you can rotate it to fix it on the wall once it's rotated click out click in click again and move it down to clip onto the last bit of furniture so have a look in here we have this doesn't quite fit of course that is let's do that again and so that we can actually let's move back into project mode and do the same thing again let's let's check the sizes go back into th into 3d like this and let's check the size of the wall here we do the same thing with our measuring tool our horizontal measuring tool we're going to check the size from the vertical edge here moving up to the corner click and along the vertical edge here click and we have one 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 thousand one hundred millimeters so we're going to just quit measuring tool click this one and give it the total width of one thousand one hundred and this will we'll save as well in the model so now we have the bit of furniture is now fixed one thousand one hundred millimeters so that's the one way of using the measuring tool. Let's add a few bits more, a bit, bit, few more bits and pieces. Right now, let's add to. Some, let's go back into the top view. Um, new angle here, top view. Okay, and let's add some corner cabinets. Let's add our corner cabinet. Let's add the, drag this corner cabinet in and just sling it in here. Uh, let's add a. Let's add a. A white door cabinet on top of that and let's add a cabinet on this side uh, let's add a two door glass cabinet on this side for instance right, this one's going to do the same I'm going to click it onto the wall here to rotate it it's, it's actually selected here so if I rotate it I just move up here and when I see the red arrow the rotate arrow I click into it and that when the arrow becomes stable on the screen I can now click onto the bit of furniture. Oh, sorry, it doesn't seem to work. Clack. Now I click onto the bit of furniture and drag it round with the mouse to the wall. And this is now that bit of furniture here. Let's select it and drag it. Oh, I'm not selecting that one. Let's select the right one, of course, which is this one. Let's move into another sort of view view angle. Uh, select this one and we'll move it over to clip onto the end of that one. So now we have here we have if we look into the project 3D view. Right. Now we have this this project here, which we're going to use our dimensioning tool on. Let's have a look at our dimensioning tool. Let's go into another view and get a nice isometric type view onto us. Onto us. Right. Here we have our project in 3D. And what I would like to do is add some dimensions to this project. Um, so 
for presentation purposes and eventually for the insta installators. Um, so let's use the measuring tool and let's take the horizontal measuring tool here and let's move the mouse over a significant edge. As I move the, move the mouse over the significant edge, the edge will be highlighted and if I move it to the end, it will get a point and I can start dimensioning from that point. Um, Polyboard starts drawing, in fact, a, 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 a pivoting white, uh, um, red line. That pivoting red line, in fact, is a, is a horizontal line. It doesn't show because of our 2D uh, screen, of course, but it is, in fact, a horizontal line. And the projection onto that line is indicated by a dotted line and the point. If I take and I move that along another significant edge, not a point, but a significant edge, and I click that significant edge, I will be measuring the horizontal distances between the two significant edges here. And if I have, if I now take that measurement, which is not yet a dimension, and I click right, and I click on the menu permanent dimension, Polyboard will actually put in a dimension, which is more than the measurement. In fact, this dimension will now be able to print it. We can continue doing this and adding different dimensions. For instance, if I now um, click here, uh, click out to get rid of the last dimension, I go onto this significant edge, I move the mouse up to the top to that significant point. We now have the, the sort of swinging arm effort. I move onto another significant edge, for instance here, the back end of the wall, and I click. And now I move back onto the, the, the measurement and I make it into a permanent dimension, polyboard throws in the next dimension. So here we're getting quite a neat way of dimensioning our model. Let's throw, um, these are horizontal dimensions. I can also use it vertical dimensions. A vertical dimension would be, for instance, if I take a horizontal line and I move to this point, I start my dimensioning from this point here. And this point, I'll be using it, for instance, to have a horizontal uh, a vertical dimension to another horizontal line, which say for instance it would be this one here, we have now the measurement that we can click on and turn into a permanent dimension. Permanent dimension has now been put outside of the model. The dimensions usually throw themselves outside the model for, for you know, good presentation. So that's really neat. Let's see now that we can add these dimensions and if we look at the model in a face view, just a flat face view, we can now see the model with the dimensions, which reposition themselves in, in convenient places. Not always what you might want, but a neat tool, it's a very neat tool. Another feature that we have, as well as dimensioning, is now the possibility to create um, partial views. In the file menu, in print, we have an option called partial views, where we can now um, add a partial view. This partial view, if I look at the, I click in partial view one, I can add a cut, cutting plane. This cutting plane can be positioned, so if I position it with here the edit cutting plane button, we can position it more or less in front or behind bits of furniture and we can let's say that we want the f and we can define whether we want the bits of furniture that are cut to have to have a section displayed a section where they are cut or we can actually ignore those bits of furniture that the cutting plane cuts or we can keep them entirely let's have a cut let's do a section on this particular let's put a section on it and see what it gives so if i go, go okay now, and I ask for print preview. We have now the elevation of the kitchen, and if I go onto the cutting plane, we have a cutting plane here now, and the and we have a look here. We've actually cut the 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 model along the plane, and the we have a section of each bit of furniture. We still have the dimensions, of course. If we close this, of course, if we go back into what would be quite good.
could be the opposite. In fact, it would be better to have here, say, an isometric view of our kitchen. And if we go into the partial views and we take partial view one, this will be more better off as an elevation view. So that when we do the print tree view, we will now have the, the isometric view with the, the, um, the dimensions and the, fa the front view with the section plane along here. So those are just a, a couple of the new features of Polyboard's project mode which are pretty neat and they are now in the last version of Polyboard um, you can download from my site or from the link I'll be sending you if you're already inscribed on my site. The, the, what, the One of the newer features of Polyboard as well is that the, the project mode now you can see in 3D in unlimited time before the time they have time limit on the project mode presentation, 3D presentation. Now it's unlimited and really Polyboard you have all the functionality of Polyboard except for the manufacturing output. So um, I hope that's been interesting to you and I'm hoping to see you soon in another video. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.